Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. Question everybody, why do I always think the worst? Why do I catastrophize everything? Let's get started and talk about it. I actually was a little embarrassed and uncomfortable to talk about this topic, but I'm going to be starting to be more and more upfront with you guys about things I'm going through because I want people to know they're not alone. Catastrophizing or thinking the worst is a situation where you will just maybe blow something out of proportion. And I'm gonna give an example. Just the other day, one of my scheduling managers said, oh, Don, the owner of the company wants to speak to you. Right away, I thought the worst. I thought, oh my gosh, I'm losing my scheduling job. And I was all worried. But the good news is I stopped myself and thought, Don, you're doing a good job. You know what? There's no reason that you would be losing your job. But there's times like that. Like when this whole thing started going down with the pandemic, and the economy kind of was at a, a halt. At first I thought, oh my gosh, I'm going to become homeless. I'm, I started thinking all the worst case scenario type things, and I will do that. And I know it's because of, you know, you may be depressed, you may be feeling anxious, you have worry. I have improved quite a bit, so I wanted to share some of the things that I'm doing. I always want to start off by saying this, though. I am just sharing from my own personal experience. I am not a licensed therapist. I'm just merely giving my opinion. That being said, I want to tell you that there is a YouTube channel that I really like. I'm going to link her below. She's a licensed therapist. Her YouTube channel is called Therapy in a Nutshell. If you want to visit it, you can tell her Money Mom sent you. I really enjoy her videos, and I they have really given me a lot of comfort. So if you want, you're welcome to check them out. But I wanted to say that these things I'm sharing are just from my personal experience. That being said... I'm gonna just share with you some things that help me whenever I'm in worry or I'm thinking the worst case scenario and I start ruminating and I just, my mind starts going crazy or my thoughts, okay? One thing is I tell myself you are not your thoughts because thoughts can come and go very quickly. Okay, so what the, one of the very first things that I always do that helps comfort me is to tell myself you are not alone. That I'm letting you guys know whatever's going on in your life, a lot of people have some of the same feelings that you do. When you, when you feel like you're the only one that suffers with something, you do feel like you're all alone and it feels worse. You are not alone. A lot of people have these types of worries and concerns and can feel very anxious and it's physically not good for our body either. So you're not alone, number one. There's a lot of people that are going through the same thing, so have comfort in that. Number two, one of the things I'm doing, and I did this the other day when I was worried that I was going to be losing my job, right after I thought that, I said, stop. I actually said it out loud. I said, okay, Dawn, what's the reality of this happening? And I started to reframe my thoughts, okay? So right away I say, stop. And I tell myself that, and it actually stops those that thought pattern. And that actually helped me so that I could reframe and start thinking more positively. Okay, which breaks big it to number three, which I kind of just said. Replace anything negative with something positive, a positive outcome of something that could happen. Or another thing you could do is, let's say you really were concerned because maybe you think that you might be called into the office and you know the company's not doing well and you think you might lose your job. Start think you in that kind of situation, you maybe want to plan ahead, but maybe start thinking, okay, if this happens, maybe I can get a recommendation. Maybe, you know what, there's other opportunities out there. Start thinking about maybe some doors are closed, but other doors will be opening. So reframing it and start thinking something positive. And so replacing it with a positive message always helps. Another thing and something that I want to start doing more of is start thinking of things you love doing. A lot of people journal. They may do Pilates, yoga, prayer, meditating, Bible study, you know, getting out in nature. One of the things that brings me comfort is loving on an animal, watching a funny video. Think of things that can bring you joy and comfort, music, anything, because that really does calm our spirits. And last but not least, I think this is one of the most important things. And I, I got this from a lady that I met at the grocery store, and I thought it was phenomenal. Start thinking best case scenario. Start thinking really good things that can possibly happen. Rather than thinking the worst, start thinking the best. And I got this from a lady at the grocery store, and she says, why don't we start thinking, hey, what about all the abundance we have? Hey, maybe something really good will come out of this situation. Something positive, you know, kind of like a, a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. So those are just some thoughts right there. 
if we all started thinking the best case scenario, imagine what kind of wonderful blessings we could attract in our life. Let me ask you guys a question. Do any of you worry and catastrophize? And just, I wanted to share with you, you are not alone. We all do it sometimes, I think, some more than others. I'm getting better, but it's still something I'm working on. And I hope I can give you some tips that I've used that have been helpful to me. Check out Therapy in a Nutshell. I know you'll find her a wonderful encouragement as well. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And like always, I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.